tastes like the darling to dinner dessert, especially on a cruise ship. This rich creamy custard topped with some caramelized sugar is a delicacy I think everyone should try. Thanks for joining me. Hope everyone is having a fabulous day. I have five eggs. First, we're gonna separate the yolks from the whites. We're using the yolks today. The whites we can put in the refrigerator and use it to make breakfast in the morning. Whenever I'm on a cruise ship, creme brulee is like my favorite thing to eat. I can't wait for dinner time. Next, I'm adding some vanilla extract. And I'm adding one teaspoon amaretto. This is definitely optional a pinch of salt and some granulated sugar. And then we're gonna mix it to just combine. I don't know how to swim and honestly, sometimes when I'm on a cruise ship, I would get scared knowing that I'm in the middle of the ocean and I don't know how to swim. But then I think about this creme brulee and I'm like, <laughs> you know what? If I'm gonna go down, I would rather go down with some of these in my stomach. <laughs> Now we can add the cream. You want to add it in gradually and keep stirring. I warm it up in the microwave for a little bit just so it helps the sugar to melt faster. But you don't want it hot otherwise you're going to get scrambled eggs. If you're unsure you can add it cold. And if you cannot get access to cream you can definitely use the evaporated milk. It's not going to taste the same but it will taste okay. I'm gonna pour it back into the measuring cup only because it's gonna be easier to pour into the ramekin. If you don't have ramekin, you can use any other bowl that's oven safe. And you wanna leave a little bit of room on top for the sugar we're gonna brulee later. We're gonna do a water bath bake. I'm adding some hot water. You wanna fill it up to cover at least about a third of the ramekin. And I'm gonna put it in the oven to bake at 325 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes or until it's set. It took about 35 minutes. You'll know it's done when it's kind of wobbly. Next, we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for about five to six hours until it's fully set. And now the fun part, we're gonna brulee it. We're gonna cover the surface with a thin layer of sugar. You can swirl the ramekin around to get the sugar all over and to the corners. I'm using this butane torch. I have about four years already. Hopefully it works good. You can use a different kind of torch, but please be careful. Move the torch all around to melt the sugar. You wanna get like an amber color. Don't let it get too dark because if the sugar is burned, it's gonna taste bitter. Not perfectly done, but it looks good. I'm gonna finish up the rest. How good is this looking? This is like a combination of heaven and hell. Hell is on the top and heaven is on the bottom. <laughs> you don't want it to sit too long for the sugar to melt before eating it. Otherwise, you're gonna lose that crunch. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Nothing can compare. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. Stay safe. Love you guys.